Well, judging by our end of the season, I I genuinely, genuinely think the playoffs are not going to be a fun experience. Hello and welcome to part 40 of City to the Dying. Coming up in today's episode, we've got our championship playoff semi-finals, both legs against Leicester. And if we make it past them, we will do the playoff finals and potentially a triple match episode, which never been done before in this series, I don't think. Because the last time we played in the playoffs, we absolutely bottled them and that was back down in League One. So hopefully it's a little bit different today, but obviously we are against them. So we just lost against them 2-1. So it's only a tight defeat. Only two there are two one defeats in a row so potentially we can try and win this thing because so i think we are going to go defense obviously we'll carry on straight from the last episode so nothing to recap on so i think do we go defense and you know what let's go defense we'll start off defensive obviously if we go one nil down we'll transition to positive so the lineup will be shantunin in goal a back four of shahar kitching dimbaya and samuels Rig and Trevino in the midfield. Then we've got Rankin on the right, Candice on the left, Brown and Edwards up front. Come on, lads. Let's try and get a decent win, please. Or just a decent result. I think a win will do us the world of good. But I just don't... I just never know what's going to happen. But if we can get an early goal, that will do us the world of good. Rosev has got the ball... Oh, that's a, that's a good save from Shantunian. I'll tell you, tell you what, Shantunian, in big games, he does impress me, but he hasn't been that impressive in the running of the championship. But Rig, be careful because I don't want to give away a penalty. That's another good tackle. Come on, Samuels. Come on, just close them down. Come on, Hill. Can we just get the ball away from the goal, please? I think we did that perfectly. Hill. Plays the ball to Braybrook. That's not a good ball. Platz and Dacker's completely outpaced on defence, but was one on one with the goalkeeper. But he does put it wide of the goal. I'm not sure how Leicester are one no up there, but I mean, do live to fight another another day. Justin plays the ball to Cook. Come on, lads. Let's try and get at least one goal this half. Ranking. Come on, go on, Rankin. Just do something. Just do some do some magic that you've done so many times this season. Lopez is through. Lopez, that's a, no, that's a great save from Justin Shantun. And brilliant save to deny Leicester their first goal of the game. Rosev whips in the corner. Can we get it cleared? We do only as far as Yukubu. Just somebody put the pressure on. Somebody get in a tackle. Come on, if we can go into half time. With it be still being near nil, I think that'd be very, that'd be quite good because I do think Leicester are closing in on their first goal of the game. Edwards, what have you done? You could have been a bit more calm and tried to play the ball back to Rankin Braybrook. That was um, that was close. Um, could have been one 0 to Leicester like so many occasions this first half. Very easily could have been a goal, but they do have another corner. We do get it cleared. Only as far as Cand Candish has been pulled down. Come on, referee, that's got to be a record. No, just the yellow card for Braybrook. That's fine. Come on, lads. We've got 15 minutes left into our time. We'll see. We've been really lucky this first half not to be at least two, three goals down by now because Leicester, they've been, they've looked so good in front of goal. Very dangerous, but they just haven't found the back of the net yet. Lopez. With a free kick coming, it's wide of the goal. That is a uh, very good. We've got a couple of minutes left of the first half, and it is goalless at half time. That is that's what we were looking for. If this first leg can end to nil nil, that'd be very good. But if we can grab a goal here, which we do, Dumbuya with the header at the near post does put us one nil up. That's what we were looking for. Just a goal to boost the players' confidence. That is. That's a brilliant, a brilliant header from Dumbuya, who we probably will be missing around the club, but I wouldn't mind trying to bring him in. Obviously, it depends on what league we're in. If we're in Premier League next year, 
that'd be good because I reckon we could get some decent budget judging by our not sure what our finances are actually looking like. I think they are looking pretty decent because obviously big FA Cup run, which meant a lot of money. Lopez with an absolute wonderful free kick goal has put Leicester back level. Not what we were wanting, but I don't think there's any way you could have really stopped that free kick. Right, 20 minutes left to play. We are going to make our first couple of substitutions. Edwards is going to come off for Heskey. Uh, Trevino off for Harper. And I think for the final change for now will be Santiago coming on for Shahar. Who I think Santiago definitely is starting right back for us next year because obviously Shahar leaving us at the end of the season, only coming in on loan. So I think Shahar, uh, uh, Santiago definitely going to be our first choice right back next season. So. Definitely need a right back next season. Definitely need a left back because I don't think Samuels, I don't think Samuels is good enough for the championship. Barely good enough for Premier League. Definitely not good enough for the championship. He's good league one, very good league one player, but just not, just not this level. Right, come on, lads. Couple of minutes left to play. I'm not going to make any more changes because quite happy with this, this result. One all. I will take that, but just don't do anything silly. Don't do anything stupid. Can we get a tackle in? That's a great tackle. Rankin, use your pace. I know you're shattered, but come on. You can still try and do something. Kitching. Oh, I thought he was going to try and play the ball to Heskey. Harper. Bran. Come on. This could be the opportunity. Heskey. Oh, Heskey has put the ball into the back of the net, but I think it's offside. It's going to be checked by VAR. Yes, the goal has been awarded. We have got a last minute goal. Obviously, still got another leg to play, but what a result. If uh, if only we could have beaten them on the final day of the season, but let's just let's just forget about the the league. Just focus on the playoffs. But we are we've won the first leg. We are we're halfway there. Kitchen, oh kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. We did um we accepted a nine million pound bid for him because I think he's one of the players. It's just not good enough. But Kitchen happy to say it's. I want you gone. Oh, okay. We'll we'll try and we'll try we'll try later on. In the we'll try in the traps when the season has ended. Hopefully he might he might be looking to go. Certainly if we get promoted, but he's just not good enough. Hopefully we can carry carry on our winning momentum against Leicester with a with a another. Uh, ideally, a big win against Leicester in the second leg. The uh, lined up for our second leg against Leicester will be Chantun in goal, a back four of Santiago, Oregon, Kitching and Samuel, Smilbone and Trevino in the midfield. Are they fit to play the whole game? Yes, they are. Laurel on the right, Candish on the left, then Bran and Edwards up front. What is Bran's best position? It is a deep line forward. Right, well, we'll just leave him on supportive. I'm not. I'm um, only presuming his current abilities drop down because um, Chen Tilly's still at the club. Um, hopefully, when he leaves, um, at most people's um, uh, current ability will skyrocket up. That, that's that's the plan. Hopefully, but can't worry about that now. Let's try and get if we can get at least one or two goals this first half. That will give us a world of confidence. But what we can't do. Is let Leicester get an equaliser. Only bad news comes from that. They will go on to win this game. I'm sure of it. But if we can get the first goal of the game, I think we can definitely. We will go on to win this game because if we get the first goal, Leicester need to score at least three more goals on the trot. That was um. It was very threatening from Leicester. I hope they're not going to be like this for the first half. Uh, similar to the last game where they just uh kept trying and trying for the first half but never got their goal i hope that's i hope that's not the case for this game because if it is oh boy i'm i'm going to be nervous whoever's there with a very good shot and a good save from chantuna small bone now we are on the break with bran he's got candace on the left use this small bone come on the ball come on have a shot so close, so close, almost was an own goal from the Leicester goalkeeper, but it is a corner, Candish is going to whip it in, that's not bad, Kitching is there at the near post, and he does put the ball into the back of the net to make it 1-0 to 
3 1 on aggregate. I'd say one more goal. Definitely wrap up the game, hopefully, because Leicester need two goals, which is doable for them, to send it to extra time. Three goals to win it at the bare minimum, that is. Obviously, if we get more goals, they'll need more. Le Leicester will need more goals. Simple as that. The more goals we score, the higher chance of us getting into the playoff final. Like, come on, lads. I mean, judging by the first half, we don't deserve to be winning this. We don't deserve to go through. We've had three shots, two on target. Leicester, they've had like triple the amount of shots we've had. They've had 12, five shots on target. I mean, you look at the XG, there's no way we should be leading them three, three goals to one on aggregate. But we are. Half an hour left to play. Let's make some subs. Samuels is absolutely shattered. Boniface is going to come on. Candish is going to come off for ranking. And Brand also comes off for Heskey. I think that's all the changes. We will make for now. Half an hour left to play. Come on, lads. We just need maybe not even one goal. Maybe, maybe that is the victory wrapped up. Maybe that's just the goal that we needed to just to see off Leicester. But that's another good save from Shantoon. And he is a very much, he is, he's asserted himself into a big game player. Maybe if we do perhaps get in another goalkeeper, maybe he just becomes the FA Cup and Carabao Cup goalkeeper because that's how good he's been this year in a, pretty much all the key games this season. Right, five minutes left to play. We do make our final changes, I think. Shantoon not fit enough to come on hopefully he's fit enough for the count um, the the final harper is going to come on and i think that's the final change i don't think we have any other reasonably fit players i mean we've got geisha but i don't really want to get him on chantuna with a goal kick just get it upfield that is not a good not a good kick at all and leicester have got a goal back with, with whatever his name is um Oh, I'm nervous now. Just hold on. Just hold on. We've done it. We have done it. We are through to the playoff final. That is how we handle a two-legged tie. Beat them at their place and we get a decent result at our place. That's how it That's how it works. That is absolutely unbelievable. I don't actually know who we get in the playoff final. So... Who are we getting in the uh, player final? I didn't actually see the result. So we play against Blackburn. What have we done against Blackburn this game? So let's have a look. So we lost against them 4 3. That's not good, is it? Then beat them 6 2. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm not getting too overconfident, but I'm just, um, just trying to stay a bit calm. But hopefully, we are. Just one win away from getting promotion back up into the Premier League. The lineup for our player final against Blackburn will be Shantou Ridden goal, a back four, Santiago, Kitching, Dumbuya, and Samuels, Smallbone and Rick in the midfield. Then we've got Rankin on the right, Candice on the left, and Gentili and Edwards up front. Gentili fit to play for the whole game. We will try and do that. Obviously, if he gets tired, we will have to just get him off. But we are—we just need to win this game. Like, can't go losing it. We can't draw it. Send it to extra time. We could do that, but um, I don't really want to. If we can get another, another a good couple early goals, there's a whole couple of goals in this first half. That'd be absolutely amazing. Rankin has got the ball. Plays the ball to Chantilly. Edwards is through. Edwards puts it over. It's a corner ball. Goalkeeper must have got fingertips to it. Gentilly always going to whip in the corner. That's not bad. That wasn't a bad delivery. Very promising. Gentilly might have been... Did he keep himself on? I'm not sure if he did. I think he did. Go on. Kitching. Get it back into the box. It's a very, a very good start. Promising. If we can play like that for the rest of the first half, we will definitely grab... A good couple of goals. Sigerson is through. Sigerson does put the ball into the back of the net. I think it does. It's going to count as it is 1-0 to Blackburn. Not the start we would have wanted. I would have preferred it if we had scored, not Blackburn. But I'm sure we can... I'm sure we can definitely grab a goal back. Obviously, if Blackburn gets a second before we grab our first, 
Yeah, it's not going to be not going to be looking good for us. That's all I'm going to say. Small road, rig. Can we just get out wide, rig? Samuels, come on. This is looking. This is looking very promising. Chantilly. Small bone again. Come on, let's get the ball into the back of the net. Chantilly tries to get the ball, but he does get a little bit shot. But the referee is not going to give anything for it. Not enough contact in his opinion, I think. Um, can we... Mm, this is a hell. Oh, I don't like this. Blackburn and Rasa. I think the shot did take a, a little bit of deflection, which does, did make it a day very easy save for... Jan Tunes, come on lads, we've got 25 minutes left of the first half. Three shots, one on target, it's definitely not good enough, but I think we can still get a goal this half. We just need to, just need to take our chances. If we don't take our chances, we're not going to score. I don't care for shots from like 30 yards out, I just want a couple more shots, please. Come on, just a goal, please. Right before half time, are we going to get it? I don't think we will. Samuels, you absolute wang. Oh, that's it. We're done. We're done. We're not going to win this game, are we? Um, hmm. Do we get Shentilly or Edwards? Just trying to think. Who's our best striker? You know what? I think Edwards comes off. Shentilly stays out up front. We'll play him as they advance forward. Then we'll get, we're going to have to get on Boniface. I mean, it's not really my preferred backup left back. Obviously, left back is another position that we will strengthen in, in tomorrow's episode. No matter what league we're in, we need to strengthen the defence, whether we're in the Premier League or the Championship. But I'm sure if we lose today, we will definitely get promoted in tomorrow's episode. Rankin has got the ball here. He does have Chantilly lurking in the middle. Had the shrivel, decent shot, but not decent enough to get us back level. But well, I think I think for the final forty minutes, I think we go positive. I think that's the change that needs to be made. Come on, lads! Half an hour left to play. Let's make some changes. Rankin is going to come off for La Wow, and Trevino comes off for on for Rig. That's the only two changes we will, we will do for now. Come on. We need to... It just, it's just one goal we need. Kitching plays the ball back to Shantun. And can we just get the ball out wide and upfield? Santiago. Rankin. This is looking very promising. Gentili. He's got players in the middle lurking. It's another corner. Come on, lads. Let's make this one count. If we get shown it. Obviously, we might not. Which we don't. Which typical FM, isn't it? Candish. Tries to get his head onto the ball, but loses out to Dylan Mark and Day. This is not looking good. Oh my god, that's a, a very tight shot from Blackburn. Could have been in the back of the net, but it was just wide enough for goal. Right, we are. Mm, I'm not sure what we're going to do now, but we've got to do something. I feel like we've got to get an extra striker up front. Just throw all the players forward. I think. I think that's what we do. Like just. Smallbone comes on, off for Heskey. We'll just do this because we we have to do something. Gentilly deep playing forward on attack, and we'll just um, we'll just have him as a deep play playmaker, not a Masala. Just have him like sitting back just a little bit. All right, come on, lads. We've got twenty minutes left to play. Let's drop some encouragement. There is definitely another goal in it for us. I reckon. Boniface, Kitching, Dumbuya, just get the ball out wide, get the ball upfield, Boniface, Gentilly, Chiffin, no, no, we've got no one in the middle, that's why we lost the ball. Oh, that was close, there was a good chance for Blackburn to potentially wrap up the game, but it is a corner ball for them. If we can just get it defended and clear it upfield, maybe we can possibly go on the counter-attack, that man was completely unmarked on the edge of the area. Got to do much better than that. Let's go attacking. See if we can do... Let's go very attacking. Just see if we can uh, just... No, why have I dropped praise? I've completely messed that one up. Sigerson with a free kick. That's offside. Come on, we're still in it. We're still in it if it gets disallowed. Just need to 
just need to do something in the final couple minutes, which I don't think we will. It's probably too little too late, I reckon. Come on, lads. Just... No, nah, it's not enough time. It's not enough time. That Samuel's red card. I don't think it would make much difference if he had stayed on, but I'm, I am disappointed with that performance. I think we could have done a lot better, but I think it does show you that our squad does need strengthening, in, and maybe it might have been a different story if uh, Samuels had uh, got a red card, or maybe we we have been a bit more um, clinical in the Premier League, but uh, in the Championship, I mean. But we've won a lot of games. Like I'm, hmm. it's unfortunate, but I think we we will strengthen. And see see if we can get shown the budget if we can are we gonna get budgets or is it gonna go straight to the end of season review here we go let's see the budget so we'll wrap up the, today's episode so oh i tell you what I, was, I really wasn't expecting that transfer budget of 40 million wage budget 675k how what's that looking like okay so wage budget stayed the same transfer budget has gone up massively tell you what we're going to do some damage next season, I reckon. I think that might have been the best thing that happened to us. Like, if we had got promoted, who knows what the transfer would have been like. Like, I mean, you look, you look at the overall balance here. There's, we deserve a big transfer budget, especially this season, because next season. So, I will see you all tomorrow, where hopefully we do eventually build a good enough squad to actually take us back to the Premier League. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Daily Football Manager videos, and thank you very much for watching.